All my life, I had to walk around with this wet-ass coochie. WCD, also known as wet coochie disorder, affects hundreds of women around the world, hundreds of bed sheets, and hundreds of mattresses. What many would see as a blessing can turn into a nightmare, especially when you have men beating down your doors. I've had many soaked and sleepless nights, and sometimes I can't even stand or walk straight because my coochie is so saturated. I even did two years in a women's state prison for drowning a man. A lot of people think I have a fat ass, but in reality, I'm wearing a diaper to try to control this WAP. Ladies, if you are struggling with WCD or wet coochie disorder, this post is about visibility and community. You are not alone. Give it up one time for the show. Where they gon' shoot from the hill. I say two times for the house. Give us a moment to sip. It's not for the faint at heart. Cause they caught it like they see it. Give me a gunshot for the truth. Not always want it, but need it. Tune in weekly to get some gain from the Montoya's and Reese. Good for perspective, some commentary and aware from the street. Add some humor, some music talking. We done had our fun, but the show is never complete. Without mentioning black.com Shout out to all the supporters People who keep this afloat Patiently waiting for that new show notification to post If this your first time listening Take this move and just sit slow And consider this your welcome To the Shoot From The Hill Show And what a time my damage, man What the hell, we done came back Thought we was gone, didn't we? Oh yeah Welcome to the Shoot From The Hill Show With your boy, my toys and the Reese you can catch us at 559-825-7468. That's 559-825-SHOT. Uh, the website, which is our home base, shootfromhip.xyz. All our social media is connected to it. All our content is on it. And uh, if you want anything to do with the Shoot From the Hip show, go there. We there, and we'll be there. Anyway, dog. What the hell, man? Are, are we going to crank this back up or what, man? Man, I'm here. All right, dog. Seems like every time it's time to record, one of us got something going on. Uh, it's summertime. I understand. The wives want to go do shit. Mm-hmm. You uh, know, I, 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 I'll fall a victim to that. Yeah. Before I go any further, though, I do have a little joke. Go ahead. I think you might like this one. All right. All right, man. What do zits and Catholic priests have in common? I don't know. No, I, I fucked that joke up. Okay. What's the difference between a zit and a Catholic priest? I don't know. Well, a zit at least waits until you're 12 to come on your face. The <laughs> 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 doom team. Me slap extraordinaire back in the house. Out of line. Watch that. out, man. Y'all know I ain't lying. Yeah, you Catholic church line. don't come for us, man. We just... We, yeah, we don't mean it. It's just no. They gonna come for yo ass. I'll come on, dog. I'm, if you hiding in the bushes, I'm like, come on, come out the bushes, dog. Yeah. They got us. I got a stick though. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. They got the cross, nigga. You can't beat that. <laughs> he ain't stopping them from fucking with little boys. Hey, <laughs> you definitely in it now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we back in this yeah, bitch. Yeah. Uh, Hold up, man. Might take us a while to get in stride again, but nevertheless, we all here. It's the shoot from here show. D my toys, D Reese. Yeah. Um, so we were supposed to record a long time ago, yeah. um, but we didn't. <laughs> all, all kind of shit to transpire. Mm -hmm. Um, Mother's Day happened. Mm. Would you? What y'all do? Went Go to, to your mama house over here? No, I called her. We was out of town already. Where you was at? For at Lago Vista over there off Lake Travis. Oh, that's right. How they go? Yeah, they went. Did down. we talk about that? It's been so long. I don't I know. know. But yeah, man, all the North Side Seven was in effect over there. And uh, tell me about it. And the, you know the kids and the aunties. Yeah, you know. Were you the only man? No, no. One of the uncles came up for a couple of days. Which one? Uncle Marty. Okay. Yeah, he came. Hard Rock showed up. Mm. We kicked it like players. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chopping it up over whiskey. Kicking around in the pool. Yeah. Man, that was a good ass vacation, actually, man. Mm. You know, it's like an Airbnb type situation, Verbo or whatever it is. Oh, y'all didn't use Airbnb? Y'all used something new called Verbo? I think we did. Mm. But yeah, it had a pool, it was Shout lake out house. To the new sponsor. I know how. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, give, give, us, give us that ching ching over there. But um, 
Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's your boy. Yeah. And quit hating. Uh, quit hating on push. But yeah, man, dope house, dope layout. Well, you know, it was upper deck. And the pool was down on the lower deck by the garage and all that. And, That's uh, how the one we had was. And man, the deer just walked around. Yeah, yeah dog. It sounded like y'all was in the same spot. We probably there. was. Yeah. Probably Big old was. lake in the back. Yeah. Boat. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Did that. You know, I got on that gas grill, something I don't ever do. Yeah. You know, because, you know, I'm pro wood. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I got on That's that. That's what gear. she said. Ah! <laughs> I, I was about to make that joke and I, and I backed off of it. But uh, yeah, so got on the gas grill and it was, see, Hard Rock mentioned it. And I was like, yeah, I guess. He said, man, we could do some steaks on it. I said, yeah, yeah, I guess we could. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. But the women heard it. Mm. Wake up the next day, they done ran to the store and bought steaks and shit. Mm. And uh, just showed me the phone. This was this, this is what we eating uh, for dinner today. Okay, basically telling me uh, you finna hit these steaks up. Yeah, I'm the barbecue guy. Yeah, in the family, so of course I'm gonna be the one flipping them steaks. It wasn't my idea. Yeah, but yeah, here I go. Mm. So man, cook the, the thing. I had to clean it because it was just wasn't catching fire. Half of it wasn't. Oh, the gas grill? Yeah, man, it was it was it was in bad shape. So you fixed it. I worked, yeah, I worked with it, and uh, for too long, man, I had all the, all the burners burning. Mm. Looked at me some steak videos on YouTube. I went to the University of YouTube to figure out how to do the shit. Yeah, and uh, got to flipping them steaks, nigga. And guess what happened? A grease fire. Oh, hold up, man! On the pit, on the on the on the the smoking thing. That's you got to clean out that bottom tray. Well, I tell you what, is that what it was? Yeah, mm-hmm. but charred them steaks just right. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about them hoes was delicious. Yeah, seared them perfectly, dog. With really? that grease fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. I was, and they watched was battling because that fire was, it was coming. So out. when you turned the gas off, did the fire go off? No. How you get the fire out? Well, I mean, you know, you just choked it, slammed that shit shut. Okay. After we got them steaks off of there. But boy, them things was charred perfectly mm. off of that. And then, you know, that's, a, that's an accidental, uh, you know, thing that turned out right. So what kind of size y'all had? Shit, man. Man, give me the line. I done forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Nigga, that's a highlight right there. It uh-huh. is because the old lady was getting busy in there. So what about a little hard rock? How's his arm, his wrist? It's was he in the broke. pool? Yeah. He had a, some kind of wrist thing for he can thing. get in the pool. So he can get in the pool, yeah. How old is he now? Uh, 12, I think. I thought he should be like 15. No, no. You know, I spend a lot of time with that little dude, man. I know, you do. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's funny, though. Look look at him from when I when I first came around him to where he is now. Oh, I remember when he was kicking him with controllers out the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it reminded me that he broke his arm in, in the, kind of the same way I did at the same age. In the mo. Yeah. So I went back and dug up my picture with my cast mom when I popped my wrist out. Mm. And we were the same age. Mm. Same kind of uh, cast on and everything. Yeah. Look at them similarities. Yeah. Well, here at Mother's, at Mother's Day, uh, we, I cooked for my wife, my mother-in-law, my mama. Who had, I did a, a, a super spreader. Oh, yeah? Steak. Salmon, shrimp. Oh, surf and the turf. Yeah. Uh, mashed okay. potatoes, saute, some spinach. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I cooked the whole lot. Did you do any truffle anything? No. Put, put a little aioli in it or something? No, nah, I should have. I was rushing, man. I, I really, it came out good, but I oh, wish it, it could have came out better, man. I was cooking so much, that's, so fast. That's the new hot shit, man. You got to put some aioli and some truffle in it. Okay. You got to do that. Truffle butter? Yeah, that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You so nasty. Oh, Chef Reese. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my daughter, in my note, it says my daughter is turning 13. Ooh, we. However, she is 13 now. Uh, yeah, ain't that so? Uh, so we met with her mom and her mom's husband, uh, us and uh, some of her friends. We all went to go eat. And uh, hey, look, look how blended y'all are, man. That's cool. Yeah. You That's know, dope, man. For the baby. Everybody can't do it. They can't. Uh, so, yeah, we did that. Went up there. And, 
you know, it was kind of hard, man. I, I, I really couldn't sit back and think about it because it, it's, it's rough for me. Yeah, because you're growing up on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, I know what, what that's like. Yeah, so. Shit. I'm not enjoying that. My brother going through it now. Oh, really? Well, I, I don't think he's going through it. With but my bu- niece is. With Bubsy? Bubbles? Biscuit. Biscuit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Biscuit starting to develop and turn into a little woman, man. Oh, really? Make me feel funny. Oh, yeah? Like, hey, she's not that little girl no more. Yeah. Now the I good gotta, thing about her, she don't go. She she still not going to school, right? Right, right. In homeschool. Yeah. But how do they do that? And they both working. Well, man, it takes takes a uh, village. Oh, yeah, that's true. Shout to the old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm not a fan of it. So I guess it ran going through it too, huh? Yeah. I mean, he hadn't. I had, he hadn't told me anything vocally or verbally about it. But I'm being around. I, my old man mentions it like. Look at she's sprouting. Mm-hmm. I was like, see, here it go. I remember my daughter was, was starting to sprout. She she started, she had her period in fifth grade. Oh, really? Yeah. That's I, when it started for me. My daughter still had no cycle, which I'm glad. Well, that's good, man. You don't want to r- rush that at all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you went on a little trip. Uh, now yeah. We were supposed to record the day before you went, but you called me and was like, well, I ain't going to be able to record. Then yeah. you called me back a few hours later, nigga, and they scooped up a new truck. Man, I had that's why I couldn't record. Cause yeah. I was my plan was to come over here, knock a show out. Yeah. Shoot on over to the dealership. Drunk. I wasn't gonna be drunk. Okay. But yeah, uh I told old lady that she was like, you know you got something to take care of. So I gotta take you back a little bit, man. I my, my truck was in the shop. I was driving my old man shit for a little bit. I know for a long time. And, yeah, a long time. And uh I I went and got the truck. Dude said, Do you plan on keeping this truck? I said, Yeah. Shit, it's paid off. <laughs> I'm riding this bitch till till the end. Well, the truck the like two, three days later, I dropped the boy off at school. On the way back home, she just died on me in the middle of the street. Damn. I could smell something burning. And uh, I waited for a minute in the middle of the street, just flagging folk to go around. And I said, okay, let me try it again. It finally cranked back up. But this time, the power steering is out. God damn. Yes, yeah, so I had to get back on 610 with no power steering. All that. Turn that bitch. Nigga, like, like a big rig. Yeah. yeah. Wrenching it. Got it off in the driveway. I said, that's it. That's it. I got to go truck shopping. Mm. Right there. And, uh, man, went on there and found a couple of, because I, I, I didn't had the Dodge, I didn't had the Ford, I didn't had the Chevy. So I got to go GMC now, just to complete the circle. Yeah. So I went and looked for me, a, you know, anywhere, no, no later than the 2018. So 2018 on up, I was looking for one of them. Yeah. With some bells and whistles and shit in it. Yeah. I really wanted that Denali package, but I they they a little too proud of that shit. Oh yeah. So I got the next level down. And um uh, I went into the first spot. Black truck, black leather, mm. heated and cool seats and steering wheel and all that shit. Android, auto, touch screen, dash, nigga, everything. Yeah. You know, and a uh, chrome grill. I was like, damn. But I didn't want to show, I didn't want to show uh, that I was that interested in it. Yeah. I didn't want to give up my game face. Mm-hmm. Plus, I was already pre, pre-approved pre yeah. before I got in there. And uh, I said, okay. So I had a number in my mind, and they came back with a number that was a little higher than my number. Okay. I did the walkout. Yeah. I've done I've done this dance before. Yeah. I did the walkout. Nigga, somebody else got that truck? Nigga, nobody else had that truck. I went to five different other dealerships, five of the... Less than deals. Yeah. Less than trucks. So I hit the dude, the first dude, and I hit him with a a number slightly higher than I was willing to go. Yeah. I said, I'm I I I'll be there tonight, right now, if you cool with this number. He said, Let me check with my manager. Yeah. He said, we can do that. Mm. Shot my ass on over <laughs> <that dog. laughs> and knocked that truck off. And then we went to the old man's camp house. For his birthday. So how was that pulling up in a new truck? Oh, man, they, they didn't know it was me. Yeah? 
Yeah. Felt gravy. Yeah. Put that bitch on the road the next morning. Get <laughs> that cruise control. Man, Got the boy car seat back there. Car seat already back there. Old lady riding shotgun. Yeah, can't wait to get in the driver's seat. Yeah. Oh, nigga. Pull up Sides the in man. the back. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, man. It went down. Yeah. Hey, man, I didn't want to do this, but I did get the truck I wanted. Okay. You understand? So I, it's not going to hurt to pay for it when that's what you want. Yeah. You understand? Know so, yeah, man, we shot on up to the old man's house the next weekend and uh, had some fun. Uncle Les was there, him and his oh, wife. Oh, really? Uncle Junior was up there. Oh, nigga, that would have been All done. the I kids. I could have rode. How far that trip? About an hour and a half. Nigga, I would have rode out there for that one good day. Yeah, that was that was fun. You know. It ain't nothing to do up there. It's up in Somerville. That's, you don't need nothing to do. Hey, so the boys, the Hard it's Rock, and my, and my other and nephew. That. They went walking around. Oh, Lil Hard! You, you took Lil Hard Rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, him, and uh, <laughs> fuck, they used to him now. Yeah, him and my my nephew are cool. Oh, okay. And so they went looking to get into some shit. Yeah. And uh, they had, they had just turned the corner, and I went to go look for them. And before I got to that corner, both their ass hauling ass back around that corner. <laughs> this little bit ass dog chasing them down the street. Oh yeah. I said, ah, y'all ain't used to that. Yeah. That's me, I, man. We we grew up doing that, running for some dogs. Oh though. man, who you they, telling? They did. They, they don't know nothing about that. Uh, did you find like some good country like sausage out there? I didn't anything? look. I didn't look. I, we passed up a bunch of places. Yeah, I find any pit. Your daddy got a pit. Don't your yeah, daddy yeah. got a trailer pit? Yeah. Like a no, he got a regular like no a small smaller size, but a regular. Y'all smoke fire up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was he was out there trying to get this fire going. Man, Uncle Les was there. Yeah, yeah, and we did steaks too. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Over the fire, this over the you know wood but like fire. A, oh okay. I mean, yeah, like a Santa yeah. Maria grill or something like that. Yeah, no, no. My old man was he. I think he'd been out in that sun too long. It was starting to get to him. Okay. So I saw him trying to. He fighting this fire that he can't get going. I was, I was like, this ain't my pit. I don't want to jump in. <laughs> so I finally eased up to him. I said, you know the way you're attacking this fire is not the way you taught me to do it. Yeah. And I explained it to him. He's like. Okay. Then he went in the house. He got him a drink, sat down. Yeah. Chilled out. So I got that fire going, got them ribs right. Yeah. Went down, dog. Okay. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Who y'all stayed the whole weekend? No, we just stayed one, not even a full day. We came went up there and came back that night. Oh, oh, y'all came back the same night? Yeah. Oh, you went the next day. Yeah. You didn't I, go to we, the, we bought the truck and then went the next morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you went that day. Okay. Cause I've been say, God damn, this must be a big ass house. No, no, it ain't. And that's that's the other thing. Uncle Les had a tent set up outside. What? <laughs> yeah. Any pictures? Yeah, I got pictures. Of the tent. Yeah. I mean, can I see the motherfucker? Nigga? Yeah. Let me look for it. But yeah, man. So don't that too. He we, slept in a tent. He didn't sleep in it, but he it was popped up because he was ready and, pre- <laughs> and prepared to do it. But yeah, man, since Shout the last time we recorded, man, man so we done went to we done went to the Lago Vista and bought a truck. We done went to Summer Summerville and uh, came back. I fired the pit up at the house. Yeah, nigga, uh, a couple slabs of ribs, some bacon wrap, poppers with the sausage and the shrimp. You know, all that seafood. Mm-hmm. You dig? Well, all that. That's what's up. Uh, so you've been smoking food. I've been smoking cigars. Okay. And like I told you, these niggas out here go hard. Yeah, nigga, man. I, it's hard I, I'm gonna have to, to sit up. down with these jokers at one point. Bruh, I mean, goddamn, nigga, these niggas go hard, dog. I'm gonna have to at one point. This dog. is on a whole nother level of smoking cigars, dog. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah. Uh, did you see the last beauty of the week that I posted? Yeah. Pinky. Yeah. What you think? I mean, you know. Tell me what you know about Pinky. I all, all I know is she's an old porn star from back in the day. Yeah. And uh time hadn't been kind to her. Yeah. She you know, looks stuffy. She starting to she been expanding with each year. Yeah. I mean, that happened. We all expand. Yeah, nothing she, wrong with expanding. She's but, expanding exponentially. But the p- problem is when you when you made your living off of your body. Yeah. And then your body do some different shit, dog. You can't expect, you know, to bring home the same kind of bacon. Yeah. You looking like you make bacon now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she definitely eating some poke. Hey, man. Yeah, she poked out. Uh, yeah, so. Shout out to Pinky. Leave it to D 
the Reese. Let's go dig up that that gem of a uh, beauty of the week. All right, uh, I bought a new stick. For real? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> what you got now? Uh, I got a Glock forty five. It's not a forty five oh, caliber. It's the it's the nineteen slide with the seventeen grip. Why? Because I wanted it. Okay. All right. I didn't right. dress it all up. This nigga, man. You gonna gun nut, man. What you what you doing, dog? Hey man. You can't shoot but one or two at a time. Shit. All right, nigga. I hope whatever I hope whatever you gearing up for happens so you can use that shit. I don't want nothing to happen. That does not get this shit twisted. I don't know, man. I'm not hoping for the end. I feel like gun nuts buy a bunch of shit and then can't wait to use it. That's what I feel like happens. I'm good. I don't want to eat them problems in my life. But if it does happen, <laughs> I'm prepared. Yeah, you are. You wait for some trouble, dog. No, I'm not. All right, you're asking for it. You want to talk some news? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, Tom Brady, uh, he recently said he's returning to the NFL after, I guess, retiring for a month or two. I don't know. But uh, he's returning. It didn't last long, did it? Yeah, but he's also set up his next career move. Uh, Heard about that. He signed on to be an analyst with Fox. Uh, when he retired, he's going to start a, a he started a 10-year, $375 million deal. That's on the list with that tent right there. Yeah, I see it. Who was that helping him? I think that's his wife. I think his wife. I don't know. I don't remember who was all in that picture. Oh yeah, yeah. Uncle Les said he's gonna tint it out. Oh no, that's my nephew here. Oh, that's right what I thought there. at yeah. first. I'm like, well, maybe I don't know. Yeah, but uh, ten years, three hundred seventy-five million. Uh, Tony Romo recently signed up for like twenty million a year. That's what I was gonna. But I was gonna say Fox had to do this since they lost Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. But I, at the end of the day, is he gonna be as good as Romo? I don't think so. I don't Romo, think he has that person. Romo out. jumped out the off the porch into that business and was kicking ass out the game. He did, but I don't think what Romo's doing is worth twenty million dollars. And he only does football, and they only get the Super Bowl like every like three years because the all the major networks have to share it. Football is a king. Jim Nance game. should get way more money than him. Jim Nance ain't won no Super Bowl. Jim Nance called the Masters. He called all the golf events. He called NFL. He's the number one guy on the NFL with. With Tony Romo. They're the number one crew. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Jim Nance, man, he all world. And he's from Houston. Well, he ain't the GOAT. He's not the GOAT quarterback. I don't think people going to be tuning in listening to Tom Brady talk. I bet they are. Nah. And, and I heard this argument uh, somewhere else. They're going to put him in front of the bigger games anyway. Oh, well, yeah. So he's he's going to command something. It just I don't understand. I don't, I, know. I don't even know how they can afford to pay these I salaries. wish they wouldn't even talk. I'd just rather see the game. No. I got to hear something. <laughs> I don't need to hear none of that. I need to hear a little bit. I hate I hate when I go to Super Bowl parties and they cranking up music the whole time. Hey, man. That's cool. It's a party, though. It is a party, but I still want to hear the analysts break down the game. I'm cerebral with this shit. Oh, see, here we go. I know you're an epic super, I mean, uh, football sports mind. I know. You know this. I know. So you know. Yeah. I mean, you, you coming off... A motherfucking Super Bowl win in the fantasy football league, nigga. and I still ain't got my trophy. You should not. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got my championship belt. Well, nigga, you supposed Can't, to make that. No, nigga, you <laughs> said that's your shit. Okay. Even when I request, I said I can do it. You said no, I got this. I did say that. Yeah, my bad. We gonna we gonna fix that. Yeah, I'm waiting on my championship belt. Let's not stop when I win. Remind me to get Reese his uh, fantasy football championship belt. And trophy in four days. Okay, get Reese's fantasy football championship belt and trophy. When do you want to be reminded? Next Thursday. Got it. Get Reese's fantasy football championship belt and trophy. This will be for June second. At what time? At noon. Got it. I'll remind you on June second at noon. It's official, dog. It's on wax. Okay, Google. <laughs> Remind me to remind Knotts to order my championship belt. Okay, remind Knotts to order my championship belt. When do you want to be reminded? In four days. Okay, on Sunday at 4.26 p.m. Also, if you have an iPhone, you'll need to download...
download the assistant app to get the reminder. Huh. I have the assistant app. Broadcast. What's the message? Tell Reese to chill out. <clears throat> All right. Broadcasting now. The nigga, fuck this. Okay, Google. Broadcast. What's the message? Play pinky videos. <laughs> it's not going to do it like that. All right. Broadcasting now. It's just going to say it through those pinky. pinky videos. See? <laughs> All right, moving along here on the Shoot from the Hip show. Yeah. Joseph McKeon of Trenton, South Carolina. He strangled his girlfriend or his significant other, Patricia Ruth Dent. Uh, his she, body was found. Doing? His body was found in the yard. Investigators put together a timeline of events. So apparently he killed her, wrapped her body in a trash bag, put her her body in the pit that he dug. Now, while trying to recover her body, he died of a heart attack. I did hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> that karma came back on him pretty quick, didn't it? Yeah. And he had a heart attack after he killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, man. Yeah, man. God said, uh-uh. uh-uh we going to fix this. <laughs> All right. Uh, Apple <laughs> retired the iPod. It's been a 20-year run. Yes. Apple's discontinuing the iPod and the iPod Touch. Yeah, they didn't say they were retiring it. They just said, uh, why supplies last? Yeah, well, so, and I was going to that. It's still available while supplies last. Uh-huh. Once the most popular, gad- one of the most popular gadgets in the world. Yep. Once able to hold a thousand songs in your pocket. Yeah. And the first iPod was introduced in 2007. iPod was a game changer, dog. Mm-hmm. Game changer. It was cool if you wanted the iPhone factor without the cellular functionality that I had was the that. way to go i had the ipod touch man apple's response is it was dope music lives on through the iphone apple watch apple tv and home pod mini but i but i hear a lot of people don't really like the interface with itunes really yeah man they say it's not as good and plus we didn't switched over to this whole streaming uh way of consuming music now mm-hmm. most people have anyway yeah so, storing all that shit in your phone is not, not the same. Need not a the beer, deal. dude. Nigga, I thought you had you one. I drink it. Oh, all right. I got you, man. Can you reach? Yeah. Hold on. Bam. And we back. Um, the SI swimsuit. Uh, five men made the cover. The SI swimsuit? The swimsuit the cover. Okay. Uh, five men, all in the WNBA. Hold on, hold on. Five men yeah. in the WNBA. Yeah. They're on the swimsuit cover? Yeah. I mean, they look like girls. Got hybrid. Hybrid. Oh. <laughs> 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 they took their sausage in while they was in the bikini. <laughs> so they gas and electric. Yeah. <laughs> uh if you look at the cover, <laughs> there are five WNBA players. There are two. Two look fairly decent. One look real cute. Uh, the other one is 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 thick. The, the the three others are studs. Man, they need at least one on every team. Didn't we talk about this? Yeah. And if if they're gonna be doing that, at least put one on every team. Yeah. Even this shit out. Yeah. Because I bet them dude them dude women are yamming all over them chicks out there. And that is not fair, man. That ain't right. Y'all got to come on, man. Um, and how they make it to the cover, man? Well, here's the deal. They, uh, they're they taking pics in ways that they don't live. They don't live like that. They, they act like tomboys. They don't be trying to be cute. So they got them looking all feminine? Yeah, trying anyway. Narrow hips and shit. <laughs> 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 That's one telltale sign, ain't it? Hey man, hey man. Anytime you, it's, it's, it's a couple of things you look for: strong features, Adam's apple, no hips. Yeah, that that gives it away, dog. Hey man, not to mention that deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel What's like they should name? just make a new mute. That's not what we're accustomed to. 
I mean, I don't buy the magazine, but goddamn, I, it makes news when people make the cover. I think there are a few other covers out there, yeah, too. Yeah, it was all mad about Kim there K and more, them doing that. It was more tasteful. A bunch, uh, of, bunch of non-athletes was on, on that. Or was that the ESPN one? Uh, I don't know. No, I think it was SI. Yeah, they, they got a bunch of backlash for Lizzo. Was it Lizzo or somebody Lizzo-ish on there? Lizzo, man, she's not ugly, but man, she is not fuckable at all. I don't know. To somebody she is. I'm finna say, somebody, somebody is diving into that from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Swish. All right. Racially motivated shooting happened in Buffalo, leaving 10 dead. That's how long we haven't done a show. Yeah. The, the Great Replacement uh, is what this was called. The Great Replacement. Yeah. That's what Pey- the white people call it? Yeah. Pey- well, that's the theory that he believed. That Peyton. Yeah. They're becoming a minority. Believes in, yeah. Um, he took his Bushmaster assault rifle, and the um uh, in the grocery store, and he shot all black people. Yeah, I think he passed on shooting a white lady or somebody he perceived yep. to be white. Already apologized to him. Yeah, or whoever that was. Yeah, it, it was white. He said, like, "Oh, I'm sorry." So he believes in replacement theory. He believes that none whites will replace white people. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't, man. I, I don't, they, they're just discussing whether his parents will face charges. Uh, there's a hundred, yeah, I don't know what they what, do. What they got to do with that? Uh, as far as him buying a gun or them knowing that he's a radical man, or whatever, you, he's old enough to take that that lump on his own. Now, they not gonna get Charlemagne gave them the family donkey of the day because they should have known something. No, they blaming COVID. Oh, well, I mean, you know how family do, especially mamas. They ain't gonna never see the bad they kid does. They never do. Then they just played a biggie video. Now they finna play hit him up. Yeah. Oh, this, okay. then that's the one with Tupac. Oh, I mean, wow. shit with Snoop. Gangsta. Yeah. Two of America's most, I think. Wow. Uh, that's a bad taste. But there's a 180 page document that he wants to continue down the street and go to another store. Yeah. Yeah, and man. You, and you wonder why I care. Nigga. Motherfuckers want to start shitting every way. That's why I carry my motherfucking gun every, every single day. day. Hold up, man. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, um, yeah, I got no explanation for that except for some people are just agents of death, dog. Yeah. That's just fact. Uh, we just, you know, it's been so long. It's been two of these. Yeah. There's one down in Uvalde. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, man, you know. It feel copycatish, mm-hmm. you know. It happened so quick behind one or another. It's like he just saw some shit, and wanted to do some. Well, shit. I was thinking what when I first heard about the one in Uvalde, I was immediately thinking about you saying because I know black people, black people was like, "Well, damn, they did this one, so they could not talk about the black people no more." You saw how I got them off the TV. <laughs> I wasn't going to even, I, I had that thought. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring it up, but it show swept it under the rug, didn't it? Yeah. Nigga, I saw a post by Dr. Umar. I was like, hey, we still got our fight up in Buffalo. Yeah. I mean, you say, I'm sorry to hear about what happened down there. And I was like, you know what, man? Yeah. Well, some people are messengers of fuck shit, and he's one of them. Yeah, well, see, this Nigga problem. Nigga, out of here. That's a problem, man. Sometimes good shit come out of their mouth. Your man, Charleston. He's like that. Yeah. You know, he say some real like, yeah, I, I I agree with that. And then he go fuck it up with some something, something totally dumb. Yeah. Uh, Omar doing that. Except he delivers his message a little more eloquently. And he ain't eloquent. He's eloquent, dog. All right. There was also <laughs> a, another mass shooting, unfortunately. Um, Salvador Ramos. He went into a elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, which I've never heard of. I know it's because I called Carl. It's not far from him. 80 miles west of San Antonio, but 30 miles Mm -hmm. south, I think, of where Carl lives. But uh, Salvador was a loner. He bought two ARs, two AR-15s the day before. Mm -hmm. He went in with tactical body armor, Mm -hmm. and he went to one classroom, and he started shooting. Uh, There... He shot two teachers, I believe 19 kids. Uh, uh, they said border a border agent 
went and made entry to the school and and then killed um, Ramos. Yeah. Apparently, this guy was a felon. Well, and he's still about guns. You see that? That's crazy. And 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 you know the gun law. How did he have a felon? I wonder what he did. I don't know. But they, of course, everybody they interviewed people that knew him, and they had stuff that would back up to what he did. Mm-hmm. Um, Seen it coming. Yeah. See the problem. The problem with this stuff is they can show all the signs of being crazy all they want. If they didn't break a law or nothing. You yeah. can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. You just point them out. Yeah, that's a crazy motherfucker. You know, just one of those. Yeah. Until they do some shit. Now it's like, well, y'all knew he was crazy. Well, what were we supposed to do with that? Mm-hmm. I heard people say, you're supposed to get him some help. Nigga, I don't believe there's no fixing that. That's why I, that's why I carry. <laughs> I'm just saying, son. Hey, you better be ready and all I, the time. If li- at least I can get my kids out the way. If you ain't carrying all the time where it's easily to get to, it's, it don't matter, nigga. That bitch needs to be on your hip, like like the old western, nigga. You don't think every time I bet your old man house, I have some shit. In I, I've just seen it. Okay, I'm talking about you. Still got to in the mo. You got to lift your shirt up and all that. Okay, that bitch need to be at your pocket level, on the outside of your thigh. All, all I'm saying style. is, if I could take his attention away from my wife and kids, I consider that a win. Okay, I mean, I hear you. Nothing wrong with being prepared. I just don't. I just don't have faith that just having one on you is going to be the way to go. That guy at least got a chance. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a chance. You know. Fuck, I might win. Maybe. Shit. Hey, man, look here. I believe shit happened to you because it's supposed to. I'm not, I'm not even going out with you on this. I, I'm just saying. We just talked two mad shootings, dog. Hey, and might have been some cleansing. Might have been some cleansing. Dude, we trying to get people back listening to the show. <laughs> Man, sometimes people gotta go, dog. All right, I'm gonna shut up. I hope Uncle Les listen to this dude so he can know what kind. And he told me, say, man, find me a clip that I I just absolutely need to hear. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, because oh. he because he don't he don't tune in like like that because you know we cuss too much. Okay, you know we gonna do an Uncle Les show. We not gonna cuss. Uh, I, challenge challenge accepted. Okay, yeah. Is it more me than you? Ah uh, no, I've listened back. I think I've done a little more cussing. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We ain't going to say lighter, but you want to laugh a little bit. There's a manager at Arby's. His name is <laughs> Stephen Sharp. Police say he was urinating in oh, the milkshake guy. mix. He was caught on camera, subsequently arrested. Now, see, that's not He funny. did it for sexual gratification. So he, he got. He got off on pissing he, in the milkshake. He got, I, I thought he was, he was ejaculating in it. He did. Oh no, he peed in it. Okay, well, he might have had some residue in like, that. You know, <laughs> if you get sexual gratification after you didn't but came, some people don't have to. Uh, okay, so he just watched the people drink his piss. I think that does it for him. Oh, see, he needed. That's somebody. why I don't drink milkshakes. All right, well, I mean, I do. I don't do it very often anymore, but. Yeah, every now and again, a nigga want to shake, man. Really? Whataburger got this Dr. Pepper shake. Ugh. Nigga. So I just don't think men supposed to be drinking shakes. Oh, that's one of them soft ones. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> right up there with it's pudding. Eight. Yeah. And cow- <laughs> Shout out to you if that's what you do. I'm just saying for me. Yo, soft dessert category having ass, nigga. I'm just saying. And what's, what's the manly dessert? Cookies. Regular though, no, only chocolate <laughs> chip. And we have no sweet shit. <laughs> cake is just cake pass. It got to be regular. It cannot be. <laughs> what about cheesecake? That's yeah. That's manly. That's that's the one. Cheesecake is manly. Yes. It's, no, sir. It's I regular. Disagree. It's regular. That's not regular. It's regular. It got soft, the crust. Any type of nigga like the crust. Be sweet ass. No. 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 Cheesecake. Go. Cheesecake is right there with pudding. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, cheesecake don't get the pass, dog. Oh shit! Let me uh, go ahead and stop the show. All right. Bam! Oh shit! Anyway, we back. I had to stop and go get my my son and my godson. He's chilling. Yeah. Well, now nah, my wife got the, uh, skippy. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Um. In closing, before we go to a break, break. Um, 
I'm gonna hit y'all with this. So, uh, remote remote workers are being urged to come back to work. Mm-hmm. But it seems like now the employees have the power. Yeah. Because that's like what everybody's. They didn't already show we ain't gotta go back. Yeah. So what? What up? What, what they doing? Well, this this is setting women back in the workplace. Really? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Well, because they were making movements. Now they're going back home. Because women have to work harder to prove themselves. Okay. And if they're at home, they're almost being domesticated again. Really? They didn't They didn't went back to being almost like an admin, clerical mm-hmm. almost. Yeah, I don't know, dog. I mean, there's really no, if, if you're able to do the work from home, there's no advantage to going in. Right. I'll say bring your ass to work so I can watch your ass. I knew he was going there because I was going to say, if, if anything, there, the disadvantage is that the the boss man don't get to ogle and oogle at their ass when they walk by. Oh, that? Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. they can't, can't take a gander no why they at the water cooler. Mm. Come on, dog. That's part of it. I like how you start my coffee. Yeah, yeah. That shit. Ooh. <laughs> Walk past me and go throw that in the trash. Yeah. That shit. Mm-hmm. That's, if that's why they're getting held back from working at home. No. They're not providing that eye candy, nigga. I mean, I think it's, I just believe that they, they've, they are taking themselves out of the running for some higher positions by not being around. Well, man, come in. A lot of those businesses, they just trying to justify renting out that space they got. They need the space. They got to keep an eye on you. Yeah. Hey. Sure they do. Shout out to people who've been working from home since yeah. the pandemic. Uh, yeah, shout out to my old lady, boy. She's been killing it from, from the from the living room office. Oh, really? Hell yeah. Mm. That's all right with me. Yeah? Yeah. Nah, fuck that. I don't want every time I come to this motherfucker, your ass is down. Hey, well, man, sometimes I, I just... went through that when, when Nola was born. Both yeah. my kids, both my boys. I come home, she's just down. Yeah. I'm like, God, and it ain't about I don't want to see it. I just need 10 minutes to like do and talk to nobody, have quietness in the yeah. house. Most of the time she'll come home, she handed me the baby she's been holding since I've been gone. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's why the boy's in school right now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not even pre K. This is this is before that. Yeah. He just turned four. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're just getting too much. That's King Von. Yeah. I mean, you sure know these rappers' names, dog. I mean, we talk about this shit. What are you we talking about? We don't all, I mean, we mention it, but you actually know the video. I don't know what this song is. Well, you know. Look at that gunny shooting. Look, too real? God damn. He should have used that shit. He probably that's wouldn't have died. Py- that's pyrotechnics, nigga. He wouldn't have died if he'd had that bitch. That, that, that's not a real gun. That shit like a rail gun, nigga. That shit, yeah, that's a firecracker. All right, this is Shoot From Hip Show. Uh, we back. <laughs> I would say 40 minutes of amazing radio. Yeah. I don't know if radio is the right term, but audio, definitely. Audio excellence? Audio excellence, yeah. All right, so check this out. Uh, we halfway uh, through this show. We're going to come back. Still Trill hit us up. Yeah, yeah. Shout it's only one. Them. I see two. No, that one there is. Fugazi? No, that's from last week. That was Keisha. Okay. So anyway, we gonna get to that, and then we gonna zoom through these uh through this fuckery. Hold up, man! Not zoom through it because we got some shit that I want to talk about. However, this is the shoot from here show. We'll be right back. Bang! Show you my show. What? Where my motherfucking gloves at? Yeah, boy. Everybody got something to say. Something by something, boy. Where my motherfucking gloves at? Yeah, boy, Kevin Samuel, my new motherfucking hero. Boy, that nigga, that bad motherfucker. Yeah, now that's the way, goddammit. If you go go, this how you go, nigga. Shit, rest you nigga bullshit. Yeah, 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 goddammit. Say, boy, this is mother, say, man, Kevin Samuel, my new motherfucking hero. I just found out how he died. Get on back, motherfucker. Yeah, I just found out how Kevin Samuels died. He's my new motherfucking hero. Boy, I ain't bullshit. I ain't bullshit. That nigga, boy, that my nigga, that nigga, my new motherfucking hero. Say, man, I don't know nothing about what you niggas talking about. Man, I just found out. Say, listen, I just found out how Kevin Samuel was dying, y'all. On top of a hole. 
Say what? <laughs> Say what? That means it's oh, man. Say. Oh, oh. Say, I'm talking about, boy, this is, this is a day and a celebration. Say, listen to me. Say, y'all hear me out. Man, hold on, hold on, y'all. I got to get over here and talk to y'all. Say, listen, man, this is a day and a motherfucking celebration for all motherfucking players, Max, and everything. Listen to me, man. Say, I, every nigga in America going forward, I know Mexican got Cinco de Mayo, but May 5th going forward, nigga, is a national players holiday for all motherfucking players, nigga, on behalf of Kevin Samuel. He laid down the he laid down the blueprint. He laid down the format. He the first nigga in our modern day time come through checking bitches and correcting hoes. And he done it on the national platform. <laughs> now peep game, right? Now they finna try to make the man look bad. The man wasn't married. Y'all tried to say he was gay. He wasn't found in no hotel room high fucking on the pump. No, man, my nigga died on top of a hoe, man. Yeah, my nigga died fucking. What? Look, my nigga died like the nigga in colors without the bullet shot. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> man, my hero. Bam! Look, he died like my man in colors. Yeah. One of the most iconic scenes of that movie. I don't even remember seeing the whole movie, but I remember that shit. Oh, yeah. Homeboy was in that ass naked on top of a woman. They bust in on him. I'm like man, why I gotta see I don't this remember man's that. ass? This is that first time I saw man's ass on TV. Oh yeah, yeah. Back we used to watch HBO <laughs> and McKinn Folk House. Y'all ain't watched that Real Six? Nah, I didn't. I I tried to watch that dog, but them people wasn't like nice looking on that show. You mean TNA was TNA when I was a kid? No, no. I be looking see if they come. Yeah. Herb James <laughs> turn turn the volume way yeah. down. <laughs> what you watching in there? Oh man. Um anyway, we back from a break. Uh we got breath, uh, yeah, like man. we said. But as you heard, uh one of my idols, my heroes, uh Charleston White, he mentioned that Kevin Samuels died. Now it's been a while yeah. and the news cycle moves so goddamn fast. Yeah, we behind on this one. But he passed away. Uh, the self-proclaimed relationship expert. Uh, he had a call-in show that offered advice and often harsh criticism. Yeah. Um, one of his quotes, men who make six figures do not want a mid-30s baby mama. Average-looking women don't attract high-earning men. Mm-hmm. High-value men. Told the caller, women like her will die alone. Yeah. Told one of them she looked like a like Emmett Smith. <laughs> All right. Shooting a gap. <laughs> so that boy was cold, boy. All right. He was cold. And you know what? He wasn't wrong. Sorry, y'all. Y'all cannot like the message. I understand there's an art in delivering a message that's that's not very palatable. You gotta kind of you gotta put the medicine in some candy. All right. So he's a YouTuber and a Image consultant. Vivica Fox, uh, she gave a statement. She called Kevin Samuel's death karma. She called him a hypocrite, said nothing about him was healing, and he insulted African-American women, and he passed away while on a woman. Um, To me... (laughs) He went out with a bang. (laughs) But, you know... Bang! Hold up. Did he get the nut or what? Ha! (laughs) <laughs> Damn. So tell me what you think In totality Then I'll tell you what I think I say, I say man You know The way he came on the scene Hurt dogs his holler look, man his, his, his Hurt dogs holler Look The man explained When he first Was out here Doing image consulting He was talking to young black men Nobody gave a damn how he chopped young black men up. Nobody gave a shit. But as soon as he went at them women, oh boy, all his numbers jumped up. People loved him and hated him at the same time. He didn't get none of that just talking to men. Mm-hmm. You know why? Men take it on the chin. Either we fuck with it or we don't. We ain't gonna be around here bitching about it. Yeah. You understand? But he he had the courage. We're not recording video. No, we all calling. It's red. It's red. It's red. But this died. No, I turned the thing off because it was about to die. 
I forgot to get the. It's cool. It, it still records. I did it with my phone before. Fuck. It's all right. I just can't see it, but it's recording. Okay. All right. It's cool. Yeah, but so when he got to talking about women, oh, that's when the dust storm kicks up. Mm-hmm. Because one thing we know is men. You don't want to upset your woman. When the woman's mad in your house, the whole house ain't right. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just with it. The whole term, happy wife, happy life, is a thing for a reason. Mm-hmm. Because when she ain't happy, everybody know it. Yeah. We just hold on to our shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so he came out. He was one of the few to just say it like it was. And boy, it hurt. And he didn't give a damn. And it was very nasty the way people was... You know, happy about his death. Okay. That shit was nasty, but that's all I got on it. All right. So, to me, I don't wish death upon him. I'm not glad he died, and by no means. I did not like him. Uh, I think he had an asshole persona. Mm-hmm. I think he was a feminine man that got dressed, looked in the mirror, and put a suit on and talked on YouTube. No, he was just a capital. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you say you're an image consultant, image consultants help with businesses they help people that are in entertainment hey i'm let me help your image yeah you you talking to a regular people you talking to and i still don't believe women call his show i believe he get like you you think he said all that up vlad vlad we found out that he pays people he pays people so so some of his recurring guests when they make a lot of money they 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 in business together they got they got shit they trying to promote so they they you well, I mean, Boosie. Know. Boosie make numbers. Yeah. It's only right that they split the check. Yeah, dog on skip me. Right. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't see anything impressive about a manicured man talking about black women. We've seen this. We do that in rap music. We do that all the time. We call our women bitches and hoes. Uh, we fuck them. We get them pregnant at a high rate than anybody else. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Mm-hmm. And then we leave them. And then they the bad person. There's them. It's not the fact that we couldn't put a, a, a condom on because that's easy. It's easy to just put a rub on and not get, or don't fuck her or just wait to the woman you want to be with. So I feel like b- black men saw this guy and he was spitting the rhetoric that they already liked. You know, because most black, a lot of black men, when they get money, they date a white woman. A yeah. lot of them. They go See, get yeah. them a white woman just, or they get them a high, a high yellow chick. A motherfucker they wouldn't have got with no money. Yeah. You know. So this guy was kind of spewing all of this BS out. And it made a lot of losers feel like, oh, man. You know. This nigga talking some shit. Now, just imagine if a woman did the same shit he did. They be all kind of complaining. They do. And they men, do. But, but men don't No, don't no, do no, that. no, 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 they no, don't, no, no. They don't fire back at them. He, to me, I felt like he was a woman scorned. And I say woman because he had feminine tendencies. To there was there was a little something, a little soft about the man. So you can't be I divorced twice, out here fucking uh, uh, random chicks, and you telling somebody else how to live their life. That's like a preacher telling somebody how to live their life. So although I'm not glad he died, I don't feel the same sympathy. I don't hold him in high regard as somebody else. I don't feel like he spit facts. I thought he was an internet. He definitely spit some facts. No, he did not spit facts. Oh, he what, did. what he did? Yes, he did. He he went against the grain. On some shit that was easy to to catch hold to, talk down on black women. No. How easy is that? It's not. Nigga, easy. rappers make money off doing that. They don't say, say the shit he was saying. Man, he they wasn't don't. saying nothing. He was he was saying. You telling the woman? He was saying okay, some shit to the core. Hold on. You telling the woman that has no control over how she looks and her genetics that she fat? See, but look, no, no, you no, 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 the no, no. No, now. I'm not moving the goalpost. They did. If you get an average looking woman. No, I'm sorry. If you get an average looking dude that fucks a, a, a fat girl, and I, I'm just giving the the the, the, the honest, yeah, uh, um, fucks a fat girl. Mm-hmm. How in the fuck you think the child gonna look? They ain't, they not finna be a beauty queen. You don't know that. Like, come on, man. You heard the saying that two ugly people make a pretty pretty. Kid. No, they do not. Stop. I've seen it. Man, come on, man. What you talking about? No, fuck Nigga, that. He, you you he know what it. I've dated that. Yeah. He <laughs> he hated women, and he also profited off talking down on black women. And I'm not with that. So again, well, I'm not around. They I'm show not, went on his show, dog. You may think I don't paid, believe it. I don't you believe may think it. He paid for it. I don't Either believe it. Either way, they was on there. And if if they was if if they cared about 
how they were getting treated on that show, the pay wouldn't have mattered. They went on there. You telling me you wouldn't, take, you wouldn't take $200, $250 to get insulted? So had this dude talking to Get down. a little script? No, nah, not with millions of people watching it. No, nah, I would not man, take it. Come that. on, man. I wouldn't take it. Ain't no, so I you think they did it for free then is what you're saying? Yeah. No fucking way. Voluntarily. Come on. Because what I do know, and you should know this, because you've held court before. They be wanting to know your opinion on them or somebody near them. And when you when you and when you're confident and you stand on it, with what you're saying, they eat that shit up. You, I've seen you do it, and so yeah, he just did that. And they wanted. I they, would make money they, off of it again. They wanted his opinion. I would not make it. money off insulting black women. I don't give a fuck under no circumstance. Yeah. I wouldn't make money as much as you motherfuckers think. I'm some goddamn Republican or that I hate black people. I wouldn't make money off insulting black people. Not not. Not go like I said, going on the Fox News or no, yeah. none, none of that. You yeah. know, I'm gonna tell it like it is. I'm gonna call it like I see it. Yeah, but he he he. That's tried. all he did. No, he did not. I don't know. I think he, he did. he's full gay. He's on some fuck shit. And uh, like I, I say, and I, like I, I don't say, wish the man to be dead. I don't. I didn't agree I don't with miss all him. of that. I didn't but agree a lot with, of that. I was like, yeah, that's about right. No, sir. About right. He spit a lot of facts. That nigga, there. Come on, and, man. And, and we as black men, we <sighs> how hard is to call a fat girl fat? Very hard. That's not really? cool. That's not cool for you to do out here. It's not. When you're in separate rooms, don't matter. On the internet, if everybody else see it, no. And, and he, you gonna get drugs for doing to, that. No, okay, so to me, he's doing what black men do, but black drug dealers do to the black family. Sell them something they want to buy. No. Okay. And ruin them, and and and, and do it for pay. Yeah, that's a stress for me, dog. No, that's a stress, dog. That dude told it, and people listened. Okay. If he was so wrong, I don't think he'd have got the fanfare. It's popular to dis. Nobody else does it. No other genre of music. Nobody else. Man, he's nobody a, else. He's one of few that's done that. There's, there's my man Tommy Sotomayor used fuck to do him. it. Fuck him, that nigga how to. He used to do it, and I didn't like the way he, he did it. Fuck nigga, he, he didn't do it the same way Kevin Samuels I, did it. And the thing, man. but yeah, I didn't like his, his the way he went because he he did act like he just hated black women. Dude, Kevin Samuels just putting facts and stats and and shit on up there. And then you do this and you make this kind of money, you got that. What kind of man do you think you're going to attract? That's basically what he was saying. So you don't know any women in your family that fit the profile that he's insulting? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and they, they need to be told that? They, they don't need to be told, but if they ask the question, well, somebody might need to just go and say and put it on the line for them. I ain't with it. I, I don't I like it. I, I'm not I'm not with it. Look, look here. I don't want to know the answer to a question that I might not want to know the answer to. If I if I know the potential is for me to hear some shit I don't like, I'm not asking that question. That's it. That which probably means I know the answer already, and I shouldn't ask. Him. Nah, I ain't giving. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I'm not. I'm not giving. That's personable I'm, accountability. I'm not giving him his flowers. Fuck all that. I don't like what he stood for. Well, nigga, I ain't giving flowers. I'm just yeah, you saying, giving him his flowers. That's not flowers. I'm just saying, this dude, dude wasn't no. Shout out to King Von. <laughs> See. <laughs> like, oh, we talking about dead rappers. Moving along here, Shufa. You done with us? Yeah, I'm done. I'm out. Lil Key, he had died of like kidney failure. Or yeah, some shit. yeah. We sipping too much, sir. Probably sipping too much something. He out of the YSL. Eve Young Saint, Eve Saint Laurent. No, no. <laughs> that was a good. I one. saw what they was doing there. I get it. Hey, yeah, Lil <laughs> Key died. I don't have many notes on him. I know he had a hit song or something. Never heard of the man until he died. Well, you hey, know what? I started here. It's another dead rapper, just destructive behavior. There's that. Whether well, you're snorting dope or selling it or shooting at one another. I didn't start seeing that man named Tell right before he died. I ain't seen it till he died. He was ramping up, and then, like, the next week he died. Sip too much syrup. I'm not sure what he was sipping on, but if it was liver failure, then, you know, it wasn't good for you. No, was a kid, it was kidney. Oh, kidney. Okay. Kidney or liver. One of them. I, 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 the narrative is he did too much dope. Okay. Like uh, what's that, that dude? That, do it to you. that he almost like the dude that was like Travis Scott, Juice World. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. He seemed die by gun violence. Yeah. See, and I was kind of like, oh, so the man has some health problems. No, the nigga was. A- That's why it ain't getting blown up like the rest of these niggas dying. Dang. When it when it's, when they get shot, it's a bunch of R.I.P.s and parades and T-shirts. This nigga died from 
some internal organ failure. And he just mentioned it. Yeah. And went on. You didn't hear half the shit you hear. All right. I'm trying to see where I want to go next. ADR. Uh, <laughs> no shit. ADR. Don't get them up out of here. <laughs> hey. I don't miss them. See? See how you talk about rappers? So yeah. You sound Kevin Samuelish. Well, because I believe, you know how I feel about rap music. Yeah. It's, it's demon stuff. It's the devil's music. Mm-hmm. Shout out to DJ, the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drake. Drake signed a new $400 million deal reportedly. With who? Universal Music Group. Oh, he's yeah? Out of, he's fulfilled all his contracts and all of that. Uh, so you can do some more sing songy shit with a multi faceted deal. So 360s aren't always bad, apparently, when you are Jay Z. When you can go get the bag elsewhere. When you can sell out a huge arena. Yeah. Uh, at when you got different streams of revenue. Because it's a business venture, it's a partnership. Yeah. So you That's not, different when it's a partnership. Yeah, when you're not, you don't have to You're not a all, slave to the labor. Well, but y'all working together. You don't have to invest all your money. Yeah. Y'all kind of working together. So it's a mutual agreement. Yeah. A multifaceted deal, recordings, publishing, merchandising, visual media projects. Mm. Biggest bag in the history of recording. He's a business man. Yeah, Scorpion ended his dealings with Young Money and Cash Money. Yeah. How about that? I don't think Young Money is even a deal no more. You see this guy here? You know he doesn't wear deodorant? I believe he look like it. <laughs> you talking about Donald Glover, y'all. He doing that. What's that last song he had? What's the name of that song? This is America. This is America. He did all that dancing and shit with his shirt off. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on the cool? I think he's on that. Dude much of that shit he talked, I think he on that black.com too. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm just saying. He might be, but I, low, I, I don't know how low key it is, but dude, be, he be having bars. He just don't yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. He, he don't, don't have the personality to, to carry a rap career, though. I mean, he's in That's and the out. That's problem. You know, Kendrick can do it. Cole can do it. Donald Glover can't do it. Yeah. I, you know, I remember when you and your former co-host had up, and I just didn't see the big deal in Kendrick. Speaking on Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. he As he just, I think he's dope. I think that video that he dropped first was really dope. Yeah. With the uh, face morphing. Yeah. Deep, deep fake thing. Oh, you had yeah. an opportunity to... Uh, Listen to the whole entire. You sound excited, by you this. You sound the, <laughs> listen to the, <laughs> the hot steppers. Steppers. It's called. Uh, motivation is hot steppers. It's called Mr. Morale and the hot steppers. Okay. Or the big steppers. So you listened to the, the album in its entirety. I did. Twice or once? I gave, I gave it once. I owe it another one. Okay. Because you got to listen. Because anything I feel like I want to hear, I want to give it twice before I be like. Well, I believe Dad. Kendrick has earned that right. Yeah, he earned From it. Yeah. From y'all. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. I know, shit. you know, I know. So, your first listen through, first listen through, uh, a lot of skippable shit. Really, but I, because when I listen to music, I I don't listen to music to to learn or be taking on this this mental journey. Yeah, that's not my purpose for music. Mm-hmm. I be wanting to nod my head and catch the groove because I'm more into the mu- music than the words. Mm-hmm. But with Kendrick, you got to listen to the words. Yeah. And he'll take you through a journey if you, if you ride with him. I feel like I have not heard it, and I don't know if I ever will. It's, to be honest with you. There's no reason to go I don't through. know if I've ever listened to Damn or this Butterfly. To, to, I don't think I've ever listened to that shit from front to back. Yeah. Yeah. You only going to get a handful that's like, man, that's cool. But he, now, there's one that, that jarred me a little, and I was stuck. I had to listen to that. Maybe twice. I think I ran that back. He was arguing with a chick. You call her a bitch? Yeah. Good. And he, she was like, fuck you, dude. Kevin he was like, Sam- fuck you, bitch. No, nah, fuck. And they was both arguing Kendrick, that point. I mean, not Kendrick. Kevin Sanders would have been proud. I don't think he'd have liked that one. But, you know, it was just how real that was because I've been around that situation. You know, not necessarily part of it, but I've seen toxic relationships. Mm-hmm. But he's just arguing, and at one point he took the key, took the car keys from the girl. Girl, like, give my keys back. I gotta go to work. And he fucked that job. You ain't going to work today. And at the end of the song, he ended up fucking. Oh, for real? Yeah, it was a cool little journey. That so, one caught me. Like, and it's pro- like, most, like most, mostly because of the sound, cut. like Jody. Jody, yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what that was. <laughs> 
It was it, that was it. It was like watching ba- Baby Boy all over again. Mm. Cause I know, dude, I got people in my family like that. Really? And it's just man. Do tell. That, well, no, they, I'm just playing. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't finna get too deep, but the the way they show love is toxic. They got to have an argument with you to get to a point where you know you come down off the argument. Now you now you're more deeply in love. And I don't I don't get that, but I've seen it. Mm. Like, you, know, you never get that out of me. Uh, speaking of family, I told you I I was talking to my brother one time, and uh, he like, man, I need to get on there. He said, when y'all record y'all little show? Oh, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, yeah. you want to have him on? That's cool. You think you got something to bring to the show? I mean, maybe. We you know, know you don't like cappers. You know what he is. <laughs> I don't mind cappers. I like poking fun at them. Yeah. They I know I know we're, me and dudes that are cappers don't usually mesh well. No. Because, you know, they care more about the image than I do. Yeah. You know, they, you know, and I'll be like, hey, nigga, this is who I am. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas be like, oh, you got to look like this. You got to do that. Yeah. Get your this nigga at work here, capper. Nigga don't tell me something about it. He spent sixty dollars on a haircut. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just like, you know, because part of their strut, they look in the mirror. Yeah, and I'm like, nigga. First of all, I'm looking at you, and that don't look like it's worth sixty dollars. Yeah, nigga, you ain't that live, dog. Yeah, you can't this nigga, dog. Can't God. tell him nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I, I, they got a stigma about them, and it's for a reason. <sighs> and I didn't know this actually until I met your brother. Actually, look in the mirror a lot. No, hey. let me tell you. Hey. <laughs> I'm playing. I don't think he actually looking in the mirror, but he posts these pic. He posts a picture, them little shorts on. Hey, no, man, it, that, you see him? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's it just that's a, it's a way of life, dog. Hey man, hey, it's a certain type of dude. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be done with that click, man. Yeah, it is. I got one in my family. Yeah. He's definitely the epitome of that shit. Yeah. He is. <laughs> Loving the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, we are different. Yeah. As far as that go. All right. What's up, man? You want to hear from Steel Trip? Yeah. Get it yeah. loaded up, and we're going to go into this here. All right. All right. So, uh, Cynthia Cooper Dyke. You know who you familiar? Cynthia yeah. Cooper was the by. baddest female basketball player I've ever seen in Her my ex-husband life. Her ex husband stayed by us. So, she's not a Dyke. Oh, she is. But at one point she wasn't. Okay. So Cynthia Cooper Dyke. What's <laughs> her name? <laughs> Is that really her name, dog? Because I feel like you had that. That's her name. It's hyphenated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed in an apartment complex uh, right, uh, right under her, next, her ex-husband. She used to come drop the kid off. Yeah. And we we were cool, exchange numbers and all that. You were Cynthia Cooper, the ex husband. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say Carla. Yeah, nigga, no. <laughs> you crazy? That's my damn button wouldn't even work. <laughs> Hell no. All right, so she's a basketball legend. Uh, USC, uh, Houston Commons. I don't. I'm not Four sure. Feet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bad son of a gun. She was fired for degrading the players and endangering their well being. Uh, she coached at Texas Southern, UNC Wilmington. And USC. Former player stated everything she did was ignored. This woman mentally and emotionally terrorized them. One player had a mental health diagnosis, and Cynthia Cooper said she just needed some dick. Oh. And uh also she called her a sorry ass version. Wow. One player doing while doing squats, uh Cooper Dyke said, <laughs> Your hips are big. You got a fat ass. And I could tell you like you like to ride some dick. Uh, she fat shamed one player, so the player refused to eat in front of her. Now why sound you- like Kevin Samuel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While at UNC Wilmington, <laughs> she regularly talked to players about their sex lives. Uh, she released a statement uh, <laughs> denying all wrong, claims boy. and apologized. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. No, too late for that. She went hard at these at these girls, man. They need to since uh, since, since Kevin Samuels in the right. Why man, Cooper he gone? Dyke he gone. Cooper got to she got to take the mantle over. Why there. Cooper Dyke can't be in the right? I like you keep putting that Dyke. 
emphasizing the dyke. Dog. Okay. That's funny. That's, that, dog, that's not her real name. Can't be. How, okay. you, how you spell it? How you spell it? Okay, Google. What is? How do you spell Cynthia Cooper's name? Cynthia Cooper's name is spelled C-Y-N-T-H-I-A. Cynthia Cooper. Cynthia Cooper. Cynthia Cooper. Single quote. S N A M E. Yeah, no. No, that's you. You doing that. <laughs> you doing that, dog. Uh, okay, Google. <laughs> what is Cynthia Cooper's new last name? According to Wikipedia, Cynthia Lynn Cooper Dyke is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you was right. All right, D. Montoya's got to take a piss when he come back. Uh, we will, uh, we will uh, load up Steel Trill's voicemail. Uh, y'all know the number five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. That's five five nine eight two five. Shot, uh, man. Hey, man, we miss y'all. Uh, I hope y'all miss us. Man, give us a call, man. We finna get this thing. We say this all the time. But we gonna get. We definitely gonna keep this thing rolling. And uh, if you are a listener of this show. I encourage you to keep fucking with your boys, man. And like I say, when we go on these hiatuses like that, reach out to us. Because I was going to go live the other day. I'm like, dang, you know, nobody really been checking in on the live. So if y'all want it, you know, holler at us. Uh, I'm going to start calling you motherfuckers what I'm going to start doing. Because we got a real loyal fan base. And uh, I'm going to start calling you motherfuckers out. Hold y'all feet to the flame. Y'all around here be listening, coming, inboxing us. I'm just gonna call you motherfuckers while I'm watching this video. I'm watching this video. God damn. Oof. This pot smoke. God damn. I like Cardi B here too. Man. Hey, do niggas still drink Hennessy? Let me know what y'all think. That's some stanky shit. Uh, yeah. Um, you've been drinking all that beer. D. Montoya's is uh, walking back no, to his man. chair. Uh, you ready to load up Steel Trill? Yeah, I got him ready. All right. Woo, Steel boy. Trill uh, called right. in. Everybody else that listens to the show, call in and Shame let us know you're alive. you for not calling. Y'all need yeah. to check on us. Check on us. That's what I was just telling yeah, Check yeah. on yeah. us. Hey, Fuck out of here, that here you go. What's the deal? Still Trill calling live direct from Middle Georgia. Man, it's the first time calling this year, man. Just calling in, checking in. Yeah. You know, giving all y'all flowers for the great content y'all been producing lately. Uh, had a few topics I want to uh, ask and hear y'all opinion on, man. Uh, NIL, these college boys, man. It's really blowing up. Uh, and it's confusing to me to see that Texas ain't up on rankings because y'all one of the biggest boosted states out there to see that the state of Texas is struggling. I uh, wonder what y'all think about that. Uh, Wack 100 versus Jay Prince. I think what finally found his demise on this one. And uh, also Meg the Stallion uh, lying, man. Mm -hmm. I know how you feel about Meg, but, but damn, bro, lying on a man, getting, a, getting them all kind of charges for glass. Sound a little forgazy to me, man. Mm -hmm. But other than that, uh, Y'all be safe and be easy, and I'm still listening, man. Uh, I'm out. Shout out to Steel Trill, man. Damn. All right, so uh, NIL, the name, image, and likeness. I know if you are a man like most of us, you watch ESPN, the first takes, and all of that shit. And Unless you're a cap. Hey. Hey, it is it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. How do I feel about the NIL? So the NIL in totality, I'm against it. I think it's a bunch of yeah. Uh, we talked about this before. Yeah, I, you did feel like you. I'm against it. It just takes away from amateur sports. I feel like if you are a, you know, if you are an intern somewhere, you're an intern. Play sports or not? 
people generate millions of dollars for all kind of companies. And they get a minimal salary, if not nothing. So stop uh, with the dumb shit. No. It ain't slavery. That's not into Don't compare shit. slavery to fucking NIL. They are the college. Work, they are the workhorses of that of that group. Man, fuck out of here. It's with football, that. football and they don't are the football play. Players. Go, go do something else. Nobody making you play. Uh uh-uh. uh. The rules are put in anyway. They got new the rules NIL, now. I'm glad Texas and them. I now they got it. Now Yeah, he was saying that Texas wasn't up in there. Well, U T is not in there. U T ain't. Texas A&M really, got the number one recruiting class. And, oh, and, and, and my man Nick Saban having an issue. Yeah, so uh, the Nick Saban here. So Jimbo, they have to produce. They cannot be uh, – I, I can't remember. Are they in the east or the west of the SEC? West and SEC. Okay, so they have to win the – They if they – well, so the recruiting class is number one. So that means you got to give them another year because yeah, – I was going to say they got – just, just a bunch of class. freshmen, yeah. yeah. You, but they got a couple years to get that right. To, I believe it, it, they got to at least win the conference. They don't have to win a, the the, temp, the conference championship game. Well, they got to at least win the conference. That sets them up. They beat to Alabama's be ass last year. That that puts them in play. But they got their ass whooped by Arkansas. Yeah, well, they got the they got the bully out the room. I don't know that much. Yeah, so and I was good with that. I ain't mad at it. I mean, hey, fuck that. They call Nick Nick Saban Nick Satan for a reason. <laughs> On UT. Roll damn time. UT can't do nothing right on the football field. No, man. They, they just, that organization, man, they've been a fat cat in this state for forever. They didn't they want no parts of the SEC. None of that. They didn't want to play A and M. That's a natural rival. Well, you know they going to the SEC now. I yeah, I know now. Yeah, yeah. But don't win well when when the A and M went over there, but well, it was hot. No, it was. They went and had their own network on ESPN. Yeah. And shit like that. They thought they was just living fat. I was like, come on, dog. You know, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, team. Oh, all right. oh, okay, all right. Hey, y'all finna go look at another house. All of them? Even my dog kid? Okay. Like I said, man, and uh, UT was living fat off the state of Texas, man. It's like, like rappers from here. They ain't got to go nowhere to make no money. They make yeah. it all here without having to go nowhere. Yeah. And UT was like that. Okay. I didn't like that, man. Uh, Yeah, UT, man, they've they, they been letting us down for a while for Texas to be a football state. Yeah. It man, burn they, on. Hey, man, they lose every motherfucking big game. All the Texas teams. Yeah. Except for they Baylor. Are, Baylor, they, Baylor is the only one. Baylor be kicking some ass. They do. In both sports. Texas Tech, they ain't no slouch either. They not. But that you yeah. that A and M and that UT, oh, oh come on man, yeah. man man they'll let you down like a mother. Yeah, well I went. I remember when A and M went was, over there. Well, we on my birthday was that when we was watching A and M in Arkansas. I think so. At, at Little Woodrow. Yeah. And then yeah, my, that's right. Yeah, my, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, nigga. Yeah, that's when you got that cake. And the dog jumped on the other dog right yeah, right before I yeah. left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I went by Little Woodrow's yesterday. When? On the way home, I just, just made stopped. I made a detour. I didn't same go, one. I didn't go in there. Same oh, one. okay. I drove by. Nigga, it was going down in there. Well, I'm one due. o'clock. I'm due. I'm due. I almost, I almost did make that stop, but I had to go get the boy. It's all about the boy. I had to go get the boy, so I didn't do it. All right. Uh, oh, what else did you have? He uh. Let's see. He whack whack low lows, girl. Whack, <laughs> whack one hundred. Wack 100, J. Prince. Okay, all right. So, we'll, uh, we'll have some notes on that. Wack 100, J. Prince. Uh, Larry, Hooter, Larry oh, Hoover yeah. did an interview with Karen Chapman, which is my wife's name before she married. The big old pimp that be named Reese. Uh, for some reason, I guess, for some reason, Wack is involved. Uh, do I believe that? So, J. Prince offered her some money. For the the video or the interview she video, did, yeah. yeah, and I guess she's saying that it wasn't enough. Why she went to whack one hundred? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. He's managing the game and all his other stuff. We keep hearing this, but he ain't really doing nothing but going on Clubhouse now. Yeah, the game true. really ain't a factor right now. No, even though the game is dope and he can rap, it ain't like he's the number one artist out here in these streets. Well, for, none of them. Blue for face. whatever reason, whack one hundred got himself in the space. He does, you know. Um, he went, so Jay Prince, 
uh, has made it his life challenge, I feel like. For Larry Hoover? For Larry Hoover. Yeah, he's been talking about it for some years for a long now. Time. I remember on the resurrection. Yeah, album, they yeah. They had they had yeah. Larry Hoover speaking on it. They did. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh they had a couple skits with Larry Hoover talking from jail. So uh Jay Prince um, you know, said that was supposed to be done for the family. Mm-hmm. Oh Nwack found out shortly and went to Clubhouse around and threatened Jay Prince that he'll fuck him up. Jay Prince don't run shit on the West Coast. A lot of people feel, well, and also Jay Prince brought the fact that, you know, he's aligned himself with Takashi. Mm-hmm. Uh, Questioning his Wax character. says he's on site when he see Jay Prince. Yeah, I don't buy that. Well, in his defense, nobody shut him up yet. Yeah. Yeah, because, well, this is what I believe. They're not going to make a big spectacle out Blue of Blue face right there. You know, all, all the boogeyman stories we hear Jay, about Jay Prince is because the stuff he does isn't very boisterous and all in your face when it happens. Yeah. It's always some, yeah, uh, you know what happened to old dude, right? That type of shit. Yeah. Nobody ever knows. You don't see it coming. You don't ever hear about it. It be way after the fact when you do hear about it. Mm-hmm. That's why he's the boogeyman like that. They keep his name clear, and, and and shit just don't come out right when it happens. All that shit talking whack whack does right in the moment. He just said whack represents See? blue face. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So Jay Prince made his name off of operating behind the scene. So uh, if you hear something about whack in his lying ass, and something bad then got to him. Karma did it. Yeah. And you can put that on the family. I agree with you. I'm I'm, I'm on Jay Prince's side. Hey, uh, I, I just know what I know on that I'm, one, I'm tired of whack. At first it was like, and it's like he, because the way black media is. He loves some drama, boy. Yeah, we get paid to talk about shit like that. And I feel like he's put himself in it. At first, he presents up, man. I'm a family man. He talking about his wife and his yeah, kids. Yeah, he seemed like a stand up dude. Now he's like everything is on Pyro, and you know he <laughs> too old for that. He fifty almost. He got to be fifty. What, what's my he, man he name that, on, that uh, had him on, on camera? Had what? Yeah, uh, academics. No, not academics. The, the light skinned dude that got touched on by Bambada. Hassan Kim. Hassan got him. He did some shit with him. Had it, and had to expose him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This dude is doing too much. And Hassan said this on, I want to say it was Mad Hoffa. Mad Hoffa, yeah. I like that show. Yeah. And he was like, man, you too old. You just like AARP. You don't need to be gangbanging yeah. no more. Leave that shit alone. So so Wack is looking real whack right now. All this power roof shit. Uh, dude, he gets his blood pressure up like every day. Every day, like I'm sitting here. Can you imagine every day I came out here? Have you been on Clubhouse yet? I uh, know. I don't know how to do that shit. Uh, yeah, well, I, it, it never piqued my interest. I, it never made sense. I was going to do it with DJ. I, t- I reached I out know to DJ. I DJ was big on it. I reached out to him, like, hey, you got to show me how this shit work, you know, but I mean, that, that shit, never man, happened. it had a shelf life from the, from the word go, as far as I'm concerned. Well, it's only going now because of him. Yeah. Can you imagine if I, if I came out here, you in the garage every day, and we got here? Wife, like just like my wife walked up, yeah, and I'm screaming, "Motherfucker, on Baru, bitch, bitch, I fucked it every day, every day, every day, nigga, you gang banging at breakfast for two hours." He screams on his phone for two hours every day. <laughs> Come on, man, and you align with with the biggest rat in the game right now. Yeah, he man. Come man, on, fuck dog. that dog. That don't that don't work. Yeah, that dog don't hunt, man. Hmm. Um. Uh, we talked about Cooper Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? It's funny as hell. That's gonna be part of this name of this show. All right. Try to get flag. Cooper Dyke. <laughs> uh Jack Harlow. He was carried over the mud by two black men. Didn't want to get his, oh, his shoes dirty at the Kentucky Derby. These two men were his security yeah. guards. Jack Harlow had them look like his servants. 
Yeah, he hasn't responded to any of the comments. I wouldn't respond at all. I let that go. Did you see it? I didn't. I heard, but I didn't care to watch. Yeah, yeah, it looked bad. It was a bad look. I feel like. They just trying to get Eminem out of here, man. He been gone. Eminem he ain't, he ain't no more. been gone. He's still, he still a name in, in, his, yeah, in that rap yeah, business, yeah, though. About no and they've been trying to find the next white hype for a while. What was my man name? That is true. Post Malone with that, all the tats on his face? Yeah. While you was gone, I was watching one of his videos. Never yeah. heard that song. But, you know, he tried to say he's not rapping. Nigga, you rapping. Yeah. Stop it. Face tats. You got the whole the whole shit on lock. Braze or cornrow. Stupid. Machine ass gun Kelly was trying to do it. Fuck that. He didn't flip. He didn't pink us. Remember, I brought up pink. Yeah. He pinked us. Now he's a rock and roll star now. I had this thing, you know, him and his wife or fiance, they drink each other's they, blood. Yeah, like some vampires. Yeah. That'll be it. Yeah. What are they, what are they some leeches? I don't know, bro. I think he's willing to do whatever it takes to stay famous. Now they didn't they not the ones that started that. Drinking each other blood? Or, well, I remember Angelina Jolie. And, I can see her doing some shit And like what's that. my man's name? They, they played in Sling Blade. Mm-hmm. This old country dude played Sling Blade a couple other movies. They used to carry like vials of blood of each other's blood on their necklace and shit. Mm. That's that white people shit. You think it's white people shit? Yeah, I definitely do. Okay. Freddie Gibbs, uh, he was at a barbecue restaurant in <laughs> Buffalo. He got jumped. <laughs> he beat up by... I guess, I guess Bo- twenty guys from uh, Griselda. Benny the Butcher's people, apparently. Yeah, Benny the Butcher's people. He had noticeable injuries. Uh, he still did his concert, I think. Yeah, he did. Video is out. Man, you know, I'm interested. Did you know twenty people willing to fight for for you on this show? Twenty? Yeah. No. You know one? I could probably figure out. <laughs> I could probably find a, a handful. Of they'd be like, hey. And hey, my That's nigga. Crazy. First of all, uh, the Freddie Gibbs is an idiot. Dude, you can't live. And he's he yeah. too good to be doing that. Yeah. He he does it. I, I will say this. I feel like the guy has talent. He, he does. He's from Indiana. Yeah. He is it Indianapolis? What I'm not that? sure. Gary, he's from Gary. Anyway, that's you know, there's a lot of niggas there. And uh, you know, if you hear him rap, he sound like he's from down here. Oh, really? If you don't, well, he, if you, you know, don't he's know be that. associated with cheesy. Yeah, yeah, all that. He does songs with Devin and. No, he was signed to Young Cheesy though. I nah, think. Yeah, I believe that. But I mean, he's a dope rapper, man. But why is he doing this? Mm-hmm. Guess the the rap bag it just ain't big enough. He got to do crazy. some more crazy. But he had released something about New York niggas though. Yeah, because him and Jim Jones had be first. Yeah. Then it turned into some Benny Butcher shit. Like this dude is just starting shit for no. He's doing what Pop did, but he ain't got Pop chops yeah. to make it go. Yeah, the, he called himself the Rabbit. <laughs> the Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Taking ass whoopers rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Little Romeo said he's gonna be a father. Now I could not find the audio. <laughs> He ain't little Romeo no more, dog. It's just Romeo. But he was like, "Yeah, man, I said a lot of girls by this." I'm like, "Nigga, what? Little Romeo? <laughs> See, there you go again. It's just Romeo, dog. Whatever." And he probably did upset some girls. Man, have you seen the uh, the, uh, the 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 the, 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 the I got to up too? I think I want to say. Did I you see? He was like a cop in there, right? Yeah. And he was he had a. <laughs> This nigga thought he was a hot. Do you see the shower scene he did? Dude? Okay, nah, yeah, 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 I did. I'm like, come on. Hey, he's man. doing too much, man. <sighs> anyway, move along here to Shoot from the Hip Show. 559 825 7468. Shot. Shoot from the Hip 1 at gmail.com is the email. Uh, if Shoot you, from the Hip. XYZ. Yeah. Home, baby. And you can send an email while you're sitting at work, while you're just sitting there chilling. Send us an email, man. Uh, we like those. Or we will we'll definitely. Uh, Read it and entertain it. Yeah, we won't screw it up too much when we're reading it out loud. Yeah. Um, young Thug. <laughs> with the Rico. He got, hit with, he got hit with the Rico. Uh, he's been indicted. Apparently, he's attempted to get YFN and Lucci clapped. Now, it'll be Lil Wayne's daughter, uh, ex-boyfriend or whatever. I now, y- y- YSL, YSL is the YSL. name of it. Is young Stoner Life. 28 people, including Gunner, which was having a good year. Uh, he's been also indicted. They mm. run the 
Young Thug is running a criminal enterprise, says the prosecutor, including shoot, the shooting of Lil Wayne's tour bus. Damn. Um, still trying to kill YFN Lucci while YFN Lucci is in, I guess, county. Now, what does YFN stand for? I don't know. They got a lot of them acronyms in hip-hop these days. The drill shit. Okay, Google. What does YFN stand for? My phone went off when you said that. Yeah. Young Feminist Network. Come on, man. Not that one. Your Friendly Neighborhood. Not that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. but he, he he is there an affiliate of the Bloods. Youth yeah. for the Nations? He Nope. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ain't no telling, dog. Uh, so apparently he paid for the car. He he had paid for the rented car, no, rental car to kill a rival gang member. Yeah, uh, get him out of here, man. I mean, he's get he's that high, ass he, out. Of he's here. highly regarded in the rap. Uh, young Thug, I don't listen to his music. I don't give a fuck. He can go ahead and get him gone. Get him out. See, these dudes need to be more mindful of the names they pick when they jump in this rap game. Gunner. Yeah. Young Thug. Come on. Asking for it. Asking I, for it. I hope they get locked up. Fuck them. They can go away. They got to go, man. Get them out. You know, I just feel like when will, when will we as a whole stop tolerating this bullshit? Well. Never. Yeah, I don't I don't see an end in this. No, Gunner was just at the Met Gala. Now, I'm talking Met Gala. When you're at the Met Gala, he, he's privy to people. They have can can help him. They have influence and information. Yeah, and accessibility and, and all kind of fuck that up. Now he's attached to this murder charge or See this that? Rico charge. I I, I hope all ass get locked up to stop. Hey, get him out of here, man. Let's change the trajectory, man. All this this drill shit. The, you know, every everything is drill now. I I, I don't I don't know who who started. This wave of how this thing got turned into that because I said it before it sounds just like the trap music. I just I got an update about some drill shit today. Yeah, it, it drill trap turned into drill music. No, it was no, no, all no. the same shit to me. Some other drill shit happened today. What like a like a black and decker? No nigga. Oh, all right. it was some drill shit about some shit in New York or some shit. Yeah, New York making drill music now and. I just I just feel like dog, you trying to categorize this shit. It's all the same. Yeah. It's all the same. Unless you on some backpacking shit or some Kendrick Lamar shit. Yeah. The rest of that shit, smoking on yops. You don't want to piss on that gray? Yeah. 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 I pull up, I pull up, I pull up. That yeah. shit. Yeah, that's that's all the same shit, man. That's trap injury, all that same shit. Hey man, how did your daddy feel getting his truck back? He was elated. <laughs> yeah. And he was laughing because I told him what the dude asked me. And he was like, time to go truck shopping. And he was laughing because I was shaking my head saying, I don't want to buy no new truck. Yeah. He laughed. He laughed. He had a good time about that. He said it reminded him of when he cut my hair and he plugged me. Mm. And you know what he told me when he plugged me? Going to make you a bad man. I was about 10 years old. He said, nah, you laugh about it later. Yeah. And that's how I carry my life to this day. All right. See how that stuck? I see you. I go through some shit. I say, you know what? I get through it. And they I get a new truck and they get to dropping gems and I shit. I laugh about it later. Hey, man. Uh, what y'all think about these money toys getting a new truck? Hold up, man. Did yeah, that? Let us know something. Well, they ain't seen what y'all it. Think ain't about like that? I posted it or nothing. Uh, of course not. Let, let us know what y'all think about Pinky. Uh, let us know what y'all think about Young Slime Life. You know, uh, it's the Shooting Hip Show. We back for Can now. <laughs> Hey, we here. Let's attach it to some classes. This is a new episode. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hey, uh, give us y'all feedback. Like I said, Kevin Samuels, hate to see him go, but I don't no, miss you don't. him. This is the Shoot from Hip Show. Y'all know all the uh, yeah. contact info. Shoot from the hip got XYZ. You go there. There's a beautiful donate button if you want to help to, you know, add to the cause. I'll let you boys help us out one time. All right, that's Shoot from the Show. We holler at y'all next go around. Peace.
Bet it was everything I said it was gonna be plus a little extra Chuck the deuces out the roof, it's just something we do down in Texas We'll see you when we see you when we hope it's this episode And if you enjoyed the show, you can definitely let us know Just hit us up, 559-825-SHOT That's 559-825-7468 Or you can hit us up on the email if that's more your taste The shoot from the hip one at gmail.com And let us know your take Subscribe to the show on all platforms from Apple to Spotify or wherever else you call the slides and hit us on the web and shoot from the hip that xyz now let's not sleep cause this not free all support is greatly appreciated of course we like the kind of bow but if it jingled then it's great and if you got some love for us and some extra plate duckets then please don't forget to hit that beautiful donate button i'm gone